Sportsman's Adventures is presented by Yamaha. Only a mama could love that mouth. Bringing home the snapper. That's what Florida wow. is famous for. Welcome to another awesome season of Sportsman's Adventures. I'm Captain Rick Murphy, and it's been an honor to be your host for over the last 22 years. Can you believe it? It seems like we just started our first adventure yesterday. But the best adventures are just around the corner and as you guys know, I want to make sure that you guys get as much as you can out of each episode. Each week, I'll be giving you tips and techniques on the tackle that we use and how to use it. Oh, and at the bottom of the screen, keep an eye out for what we'll be highlighting as far as our sponsors and brands and the reason we like them so much. So get ready for a little taste of what's ahead this season. First, we're going to the fishing capital of the world, the Florida Keys. And it's a beautiful day in Marathon and my buddy, Pablo Rodriguez will be waiting. But what makes this even better is that we'll be fishing for permit and what makes it great is my son, Colin, will be joining us. Yeah. You were still right. right of him. You got one? I got him. All right. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> right in the face. I got you. You about to get one. A wet one. Yeah. <laughs> With this heat. Oh, look at the one. shark. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hey, Dad, can I cut the shark? Nope. <laughs> you did that to me when you were about <laughs> eight one time. You have bits of big blackie? That permit has some big black tails on them. Yeah, I did. Yes, yeah, sir. Oh, it's what. so, so nice to fish out of here, huh? <laughs> it's awesome. Oh, look at that fish behind the, the, the oh my goodness. Now, Pablo, tell me. You were telling Colin about keeping the rod. Anytime you see the rod above your head. Yes, sir. It, explain yes. that a little further. It's it's about the tip of the rod then starts. To, uh oh, I think I got a shark after my permit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just saw a big brown down there. I just there. saw a big shark right here. Like a live grouper. Colin, throw to those permit right there. You just threw two. Throw left. Oh, right, you're popping. Golly, golly, stop it. Perfect. Reel it, Kyle. Drop it, drop it, drop it. Let it sink. Just let it sink. That's it. That's it. Oh. 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 All over it. All over it. Oh, Come on, take it. Here's my tarpon. I mean, here's my tarpon. <laughs> Get it, boy. Yeah. That yeah. a boy. That Let's a boy, Kali. Get you one, Pablo. Juan Pablo. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know his name was Juan Pablo. I thought his name was Pablo. How do you come up with Juan Pablo? I don't know, man. Come on, Pablo. Uh-oh. You getting a bike? <laughs> Two more header with the permit. Oh, no! Are no! you kidding me? No! No! Oh, no! <laughs> oh, no. <sighs> that little booger let go of mine. How dare he? <laughs> that's just what happens. That's what, you know, that's... Oh! That's what happens with, with, with being a guide. What's it's, that? You're out of practice? Yeah, you're I mean, out of practice. Oh. What? Come on, colleague. Now you're lined in me. How's that break up? Mm -hmm. uh, huh? Shark got you? No. What happened? There was a knot, like, before the leader, there was a knot. We tied more line on. It popped. No. All right, go get yourself a crab. Go. That was hey, a double move line. It, move it. Put this, double line. Put this yeah. line. Here, Pablo. Away. Are you ready? Yes. You ready? Yes, sir. Look at this one. Oh, look at the oh, one underneath that. Is that the cobia? Was well, it cobia? Yeah. The cobia. Hi, pretty guy. 
You are so beautiful. Nice. <laughs> nice. Mr. Good job, Pablo. Rick Murphy, getting it done. Like you mind usual. if I let him go? It's been a long time since I put my hand on one of those. Come on, man. Put your hands on this beauty. Okay. Come on, eat that. Ready? Absolutely. All right, here we go. Oh. How cool is that? Such a beautiful picture. Sportsman's Adventures is brought to you by Yamaha. Reliability starts here. Rapala. Catch the latest at Rapala.com. Costa Sunglasses. See what's out there. Okuma. There's no stopping Okuma. VMC, your expert in hooks. Williamson Lures. For the Pelagic Playground. Ameritrail. Building trailers for over 30 years. And Startron. Cures and prevents ethanol fuel problems. At Yamaha, reliability is a family tradition. Meet the next generation. Four new advanced technology inspired inline four cylinder performers. Bred from the reliability and boater satisfaction that is part of Yamaha's DNA. They prove that when power gets lighter, faster, stronger, and smarter, boating gets even better and more satisfying for boaters like you. Remember the glory days of gasoline? It's just not made the same anymore. Kick your gas into gear with StarTron. Pump up the performance in all of your engines. Cure the problems of ethanol with the power of enzymes. And maximize your mileage every time you drive. Kickstart your engines with StarTron. We've made our name helping anglers unlock the water's hidden secrets. Hit the switch. It's time to reveal even more. AutoChart Live gives you the power to build your own high-definition maps anywhere in the world in real time. Because when you know the unknown, you can do the unheard of. Auto Chart Live, only from Humminbird. One of the most ancient forms of hide and seek known to man. And nobody knows how to play the fishing game better than the backcountry guides and offshore captains of the Florida Keys and Key West. Ready or not, here we come. There's a phenomenon in Sarasota that only happens a certain time of year. If you get to Passage Key Inlet before the sun comes up, your hummingbird will be lit up like a Christmas tree with images of monster tarpon. Captain Jeremy takes us to this fight. Oh, nice, Rick. Thank you for having me here, Jeremy. My pleasure. Tarpon fishing, it doesn't matter where it is, the Keys, the Everglades, it's always exciting. When they got so many fish, what's the problem is, they don't, it's hard to break their spirit because they see their buddies down there and they want to swim back down there and get in school. It makes it tough. See him down there, Jeremy. Getting close? Yeah. All right, I got the gloves on. This is the battle time here. Yep. <laughs> the only thing you can do when this is going on, he's down there circling the boat, is <sighs> just keep pressure on him. Don't let the boat line hit the side of the boat. Stay down if you get underneath like the boat like that, open the bail, 
go around the front of the boat, cross over. The line won't ever break if it's not tight. Fancy move right there. You like that? I do like that. All right. The fish is hooked, he's hooked. Right. There's a leader. He likes going underneath the boat. Yes, he does. It's like he's done this before. Switch my feet. Short pumped. When he's going away, just let him go. That's when fish get broke off, is when they surge right here at the boat. <clears throat> Once he stops, go back to applying a lot of pressure. Yeah, there's color. I see him. Good fish. Yeah, that's a nice one. Good fish. There's a leader. Leader high. Right. And jump. Here it comes. Perfect. Got to bow to them right there when they jump. Especially when they're that close. Right. Because out of that water, he's 100 pounds, if that's what he weighs. When they jump like that, especially when they're close, wears them down pretty good. Oh, it? yeah. Yeah. Like a nosebleed. Right. Here we go, Jeremy. You want to grab that? Get you ready? Pretty close. That's 40 and 60 down below. Okay. You can let go anytime you're ready. All right. Hold on, baby. <coughs> Buddy. Hold on, hold on, Rick. I'm good. Hey, hey, hold on. Hey. Let him go. He didn't like me. He didn't like me. Oh, yeah. All right, perfect. That time. There you go, we Jamie. Got hold on to him, Jamie. I don't need a broken nose. Oh, there's another shower. <laughs> doing me. I know as an angler, this is when it really hurts. Your body's tired, everything's fatiguing. What you're saying? About you 20 me, minutes. What you're saying is you want me to grab it. No, no, no. <laughs> but what I am saying is, I know how it feels. You yeah. know? Your back's hurting. Deep water, fight straight down. That rod, yeah, right up top. Good. There she is. <coughs> Good job. Good job, Rick. Oh man, I couldn't have done it without you. It's beautiful, man. Go ahead and pop the hook out. You ready? Or we'll let her go. Okay, you clear? Let her go whenever she's ready. I think she's all right, actually. Well, you can give her an extra second or yeah, two. Yeah, let me get her in the top. ready. Turn. Kick her in the belly. Hey! Thanks for inviting me up. Thank you for having me. Good job, man. That's the way you start off a Monday morning. That's right. <laughs> Sportsman's Adventures is brought to you by Powerpole. Swift. Silent. Secure. Contender Boats. Performance through innovation. FWC, the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission. Cletus Cubs, tie one on. Maverick Boat Group, makers of premium boat brands Maverick, Hughes, and Pathfinder. The American Fishing Tackle Company, precision tackle and performance clothing since 1958. The Florida Keys and Key West, come as you are. Suffix, the world's most hardcore fishing line. And Humminbird. Simply, clearly, better. You know there's more to it than luck. There's fishing the right bait, the water temperature, the wind, the season, and then there's the boat. We'll put it simply, the boat matters. To own a contender is to own the best sport fishing boat on the market, period. Contender offers the most comprehensive model range with bigger, faster, and more fuel-efficient boats than the competition. There's only one choice for serious anglers. 
Contender Boats, performance through innovation. Shadow Wrap Shad's a jerk bait with a secret move. When you pause, the lure slowly rises. I tell you, man, it makes fish come unglued. At Yamaha, reliability is a family tradition. Meet the next generation. Four new advanced technology inspired inline four cylinder performers. Bred from the reliability and boater satisfaction that is part of Yamaha's DNA. They prove that when power gets lighter, faster, stronger and smarter, boating gets even better. And more satisfying for boaters like you. As close as you're gonna get to a sure thing for catching billfish is Casa Vieja Lodge. They're here, man. This has been a 20 year run, buddy. These things haven't left, there's no cycle. See, when it comes to sail fishing, this is the real deal. The amount of sailfish here is ridiculous. Today's Coast of Cool Place and Moment is certainly about catching your fish and taking it to your favorite restaurant to get something to eat. Now, unfortunately, when we're inshore fishing, we've become very conservation oriented. You can only take one redfish, one snook, and in most cases, we choose to let those fish go. But because of the popularity of snapper and tuna and yellowtail, I really love getting a fresh catch of fish, and that's why when I'm in the Keys, I come to Jimmy Johnson's Big Chill. The reason why it's so good is because you have expert chefs like Chef Dominic, and they are able to cook you your mahi, or certainly a hogfish, fish that maybe you don't actually go out and catch, but you certainly love to eat. So that's one of the reasons why I think it's very important, wherever you are in Florida, to enjoy the fresh seafood that we have here in this great state. So when you come to the Florida Keys, come by and see Jimmy Johnson at the Big Chill and tell him that I sent you. And that's why it's today's Costa Cool Place and Moment. One of our adventures takes us where the best marlin fishing in the world takes place, the world famous Tropic Star Lodge in Panama. That's an adventure all of its own, but what takes this adventure over the top is that we'll be fishing with none other than Guy Harvey. Come to the show, baby! Yeah! All right. Couldn't handle it. Couldn't take it anymore. Watching all the guys mess up. I think I'll do it myself. I like it. There you go. You getting tired, guy? Yeah, I need a beer. <laughs> wine, 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 wine. Look at the color of that fish. Oh, my yeah, God, wow. Stripes. Oh, nice. 
Then when they turn yeah. brown like that, guys, That's the right. lactic acid built up. No, in no, no, no. They're, they're always dark already in the, in the Pacific. That's just the bronze thing. Sometimes on the water, they look black, Ricky, when I've been swimming with these guys. Yeah. They look black until you get within eight or 10 feet of them and you see the green and the bronze flanks and the purple stripes. They look black when they come up on the teasers. Black, black, black. So this color on the water looks black yeah. more than 10 feet away. It's amazing. Look at this color combination, the purple stripes yeah. all the way up. Let me get down a little further. <laughs> How well you know these fish. Oh, yeah. I love how the eye rotates yep. on all the buildings. Look at that purple. Yeah. That purple in there. You're going to have to let it go soon. You see the color coming back? Look yeah. at that. Yeah. Silver and bronze. All right, it's time to let it go, okay? Whenever you're ready. All right, baby. Bye. Last year, we took you to Venice, Louisiana for some unforgettable redfish. This year, we stay in Florida and visit Captain Pat Deneen, who has anchored us just inside the Destin Inlet. Let me tell you, there were some bulls waiting for us, and we were ready to ride. So, Pat, obviously, when you come to the, to the Gulf of Mexico in the fall, what yep. should you expect? Redfish. Pretty much every one of our inlets this time of year, all the way from Pensacola, Panama City, Orange Beach, us, Full of redfish. Same thing, Flamingo, West Coast, you know, Sarasota, Tampa, they all have them then too. Fish all these, come in to get. All the big fish start grouping up. And they gorge so that they could, you know, actually get big and fat and thick for the winter. Uh -huh. Uh oh. You see how much current we got. I mean, it's outgoing tide, Rick. That's the time to do it. Sometimes you get them on the incoming, but the best tide is right at the beginning of the drop or the end of the fall. But, I mean, we're middle now, and we're getting them one after another, so when's the best time to be fishing is any time you can go fishing. When you get the bite. That, yeah, sure. that's the best time to be fishing for sure. Rick, you want to try to land this one for me? Of course. Give me right one on. second. This is one of the smaller ones, Rick. Smaller ones? So what took long. you so long, That's then? what I was just thinking. Look at that fish, Rick. Ugh. Man. He still doesn't want to give up. They never do. Pretty fish. What do you say, Pat? <clears throat> say it's a stud sailor. It's been a good day. Let me get that. That's good. That's good. Oh. Hey, Rick, you're hooked up. I'm hooked up? Uh huh. You were. Probably still. Yeah, you still are. Oh, Rick, why don't you go ahead and catch that fish? Is it still there? Oh, yeah. I'm gonna get him back in the water. I don't care what coming there to help you stick my rod and rod and the rod holder and look what happened. Something. That. <laughs> well, Pat. That. He's gone. Uh oh, little pig fish. Uh oh. Is that what you call them down there? These? What is that? It's a grunt, dude. You don't call them a pig fish? A grunt. Oh, man, what do you got? Y'all got your own vocabulary up here. What do you call a pinfish? Chauffeur. Well, Paige knows what's that. What's a blue runner? A hardtail. <laughs> what do you call a mango snapper? A mangrove snapper. Oh, no, mango. Mingo? Yeah. Is that the bee liner? B uh, vermilion? Bee vermilion, yeah, yeah bee liner. What do you call bull red? You know what's crazy? Is when we started out, when the tide was coming in, the hummingbird said that it was 74.4 degrees. That was at 8 o'clock this morning. About 68.6. And now it's 246 and it's 68 degrees. It's all that fresh water from that rain. Yeah. That's crazy. You, man, it freaking rained last week. Look yeah. at the bait coming in the past. See it? Yep. Now, what are those? Thread those, men? No, those are actually shoemakers. What is that? Leather jacks. Oh, shoemakers. We call them leather jacks, Pat. <laughs> Welcome to the panhandle, Jack. <laughs> Y'all call a big red fish what? Big red bulls. Bull red? Yeah. Okay. Wanna make sure. <laughs> Pat Dar? That's another nice one, Rick. Ah. Look how 
bigger Dang. their head is. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's a big, big fish. Look at how thick that fish is. Look Brad. at the size of his head. That's what your mama said about <laughs> you, bub. 50, 52 years ago. <laughs> you know what? You're right. She did say that. Come on, buddy. This one wasn't coming off the hook, Rick. No. Got him? Yes, sir. Ha! Look at the size. Look at that. He's longer than my arm, Rick. Nah. <laughs> ha! Thank you for making this a great sportsman's adventure, and more importantly, happy birthday! Happy birthday! Bro. Hey. Happy birthday. <laughs> we got you having a bromance on the jetty. Little jetty bromance. I love it. <laughs> Look there. What a way to spend a birthday. We should probably do this every year. Look at that. That one's even got a bromance heart. <laughs> Man, it's going to be an epic season. Hey, you can catch all the latest happenings and contests and appearances by liking us on Facebook and following us on Twitter and Instagram. You'll never miss a show. You can also find full episodes of Sportsman's Adventures plus other tips and techniques on our YouTube channel. Also, if there's a product that we use during the show and you'd like more information on, you can find links to our sponsors by heading over to sportsmansadventures.com. Thanks for watching, and I can't wait to share the rest of my adventures with you. Here's what's coming up next week. Oh! If you're not sure what we're doing here, we are snapper fishing. Golly! Mama don't feel no shrimp tonight cause we're bringing home the snapper! <laughs>